The White House would rather this not be a topic of discussion in the media or elsewhere, but Omarosa Manigault Newman has made it clear that she's not planning to go anywhere, and now reports say that there could be a whole lot more than just audio tapes. According to a new report in the Associated Press, Manigault Newman has a stash of videos, emails, text messages, and other documentation supporting the claims in her tell-all book. A person with direct knowledge of the records reportedly described it to the AP as a treasure trove. The former reaction Reality star and White House aide previously suggested that she would selectively release whatever she has. There are things that I write about, and then there are things that I'm going to save to share when the time is right. A few days ago, the Trump campaign filed a formal complaint against Manigault Newman. They say she violated a confidentiality agreement signed in 2016. Simon & Schuster, the publisher of Manigault Newman's book, Unhinged, responded. The publisher's legal counsel sent a letter to the Trump's campaign's legal team saying that their clients would not be intimidated by hollow legal threats and that they were acting well within their rights. Manigault Newman released secret recordings of the White House chief of staff, John Kelly, firing her in the Situation Room and another one with the president's daughter-in-law offering her a job with the campaign, something Manigault Newman claims was part of an effort to silence her. The president says his former aide is deranged. His communications team says she's a liar. He has absolutely no respect for women, for African Americans, as evidenced by him instructing the chief of staff to lock me for two hours in the situation room to harass me, to threaten me and say that things could get very ugly for me and that there would be damage to my reputation. But he is unfit to be in this office. She sang his praises, uh, called him a mentor, in fact. But somehow, I guess the truth wasn't paying the bills. So she decided to change her mind and tell everyone uh, lies and, and contradictions about her time here. The president began his morning with a series of tweets, not about this, but about social media. He said social media in general is discriminating against conservatives, though he didn't offer any specific evidence for that. We've reached out to the White House for clarification on those tweets. Kristen. And he's had a lot of tweets this morning already. Ellison Barber live from inside the press filing center because it's a nasty rainy day outside near Bedminster, New Jersey. Thanks, Ellison.